Hi, so fringes. People dry their fringes wrong. Um, when I first had my hair cut into a fringe again this time, I always have one off and on, but um, I recently got one cut in and people would say to me, oh, I love your fringe, but there's so much hassle to look after. They're really, really, really not. The problem people have is that they um, dry their fringes wrongly and what they get are kind of cowlicks or they go a bit wonky or they go off to the side when you don't want to and want them to and so on. But actually to dry them properly is so, so, so easy. I'm gonna show you really quickly. So firstly, going to put the rest of my hair back. I'm going to have to assume that my hair, my entire hair is soaking wet. When you come out of the shower, if you take a wide tooth comb or a wet brush, this is a wet brush, I absolutely love it, it's brilliant. Just brush through all of your hair with the wet brush or the comb um, before you put it in a towel, including your fridge. Fridge, including your fringe. If you leave your fringe um, clumped together and not combed through, it makes it much harder later on when you come to dry it. So comb it through like that when it's wet. And then even if it then goes back under the towel, that's perfectly fine, but you do just want to separate the strands, okay? You can then get on with doing your makeup. When um, you've done your makeup, you're dressed or whatever, and you're ready to dry your hair, um, take a product. I like um, Prime Style Extended by Living Proof, which I've mentioned before, and you take a big blob of it and just work it through all of your hair, including your fringe. Then you get to the drying part. I am now going to wet my hair and pretend I've just washed it. So, you've done all your stuff and you've got your wet hair ready to dry, okay? With your fringe wet, comb it forward or brush it forward the way you want it to be. Put some styling product in if you want, like a volumizer or whatever it is you would normally use, nothing special. You then need a Mason Pearson brush. Now, I know they're super expensive, so you don't need an actual Mason Pearson brush, but you need a brush that looks like a Mason Pearson. And when I say that, some, what, something that's a mixture of nylon and bristles. So you've got sort of two levels of bristles and they're really close together. The reason you need a brush like this is if you take a wide brush, like the wet brush, it'll go stringy and you'll have too many gaps between the hairs. You need a bristle brush that's really, really close together like the Mason Pearson because then it will stay all as one shape. So even if you can't afford a real Mason Pearson or you just don't fancy spending that amount of money, get one that looks like that, okay? If you do wanna get a real one though, I cannot recommend them enough. So, <clears throat> take your Mason Pearson, take your hair dryer, you want the nozzle on and you want the nozzle pointing downwards onto your hair and because I'm going to turn it on in a second, you won't be able to hear me, I'm going to tell you what I do. As the dryer is pointing down, you want to briskly brush your fringe back and forth, back and forth. And you can come quite far back with it. Back and forth, back and forth, over and over until it's dry. Okay, I'm going to do that now. When it's still, when it's dry, you just, just brush it forward or wherever you want it. Take the rest of your hair out. I should say, if all of your hair is wet, you need to dry your fringe first before you do the rest of your hair. You always should do the fringe first because the fringe um, dries in the shortest amount of time. So if you start on the rest of your hair, by the time you come to your fringe, it's too late. It's already dried. Now what that does, that action I was doing, what it does is the root doesn't know where to go. It's sort of this way, that way, it kind of disorientates. It breaks down the natural direction of the hair, meaning it'll just, it won't know what else to do except fall straight forward. So what you end up then is with a perfectly straight fringe that goes straight across. 
just never, ever, ever fails. Whereas if you brush it forward with your hairdryer, anything can happen. You need to break it down back and forth, back and forth. When you're happy with it, at this point, if I'm going out, I might run some straighteners through it, some hot iron through it, but um, I won't do that now. And then when you're happy and it's all there, a bit of hairspray and you're all sorted. If it gets um, messy or greasy throughout the day, which it shouldn't do if you've used the primer, um, but if it does do that, just carry a little can of Batiste um, dry shampoo and just give it a spritz halfway through the day and just mess it through with your fingers like that through your fringe. Um, and that will just revive it and get rid of any greasiness. That's it, easiest thing in the world. Thanks for watching, bye.